Matt Hill. And, and I, he's a respected researcher in this area. And I thought his stance was, was very, very nuanced. And then after he came on the podcast, other people, um, not Berenson necessarily, although I haven't checked my DMs that closely, contacted me and said, no, I have counters to that guy, which just told me everything mm. I already know, which is that right. science is a field with people with differing opinions, right? And Which some, is good. Which is great. I mean, you don't have a field until you have differing opinions. Right. You don't want to be the person working, the only person working on something. Right. You want that. It's, it's something that, you know, you can tell I get really impassioned, smelling salts or no, about this because somehow in the media version of is cannabis good, is cannabis bad, and, and honestly the, the political aspects to it, like I wasn't tracking the fact that cannabis was just about to be approved for more, you know, more legalization right about the time that that clip got, you know, amplified. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't saying it should or shouldn't. I'm just giving you the information, same as I did for alcohol. Right. We... I would love to put this to rest once and for all. Every couple of weeks or months, you're going to see media outlets say, some drinking is good for you. Others will say, some drinking, any drink is bad for you. Here's the deal. Zero is better than any. A little bit's probably fine, especially if you do other things to offset the sleep loss and microbiome stuff. If you're going to drink, probably should be doing other healthy behaviors anyway. No one's saying it's terrible. 